of these boxes will break the $5,000 bank. Is this one of them? Or is it this one? Or this one? We'll find out in a moment in this game of hide and seek as these nine celebrities. Abe Vigoda. Alice Ghostly. Joanne Flo, Dick Godier. Jan Murray. Linda Carter. Liz Torres. Robert Hedges. And Mark Joe Gortner all join us in playing Break the Bank. Now meet our host, Tom Kennedy. Thank you very much. I still have. Woo! Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Break the Bank. You'll find our game simple and fun to play. You've met our celebrities, and now Johnny Jacobs. Could we meet our first two contestants? I should say we can, Tom. Here are our first two questions. First, she is a model whose hobbies are tennis, horseback riding, and biking. Let's meet Marley Morris. And her opponent, born in Illinois, he's lived in Hawaii, now resides in California, a restaurant executive. Meet Ralph Florian. All right, I'll meet him. How are you? Ralph Florian, good to see you, buddy. Ralph Florian and Marlee Morris. Welcome aboard. Marlee and Ralph, have fun, win money, okay? Here's how we play Break the Bank. Our game board has various denominations of money in groups of three. There are also money bags scattered here and there. Here is what a typical board might look like. The three $100 boxes touching each other along one of the sides. The three $200 boxes each touching each other. And the three $300 boxes, and again, they touch each other. The five money bags are scattered all over. And a wild box, which can be located anywhere and can be used for any value. Now the remaining boxes are blank, they have no value, but they do not touch each other along any of the sides. Get three of the same and you win. Get three money bags and you break the bank, which we are starting off today at $5,000. And we'll play that $5,000 game after these words for you. Let us begin. We've returned our boxes to their original positions and, of course, changed them around. Now, remember, for every question used, you will hear a true answer from one celebrity and a false answer from the other. And all you have to do is pick the right one. Now, three of the same money boxes always touch each other along one of the sides, and the first player to get three of the same money boxes wins. We're going to start with you, Marlee Morris. Would you pick the first box, please? I'll pick number nine. Number nine. Could we see box number nine? What did she find? Hey, there's a $200 box right off the bat. Yeah. And that box is connected to Liz Torres and to Dick Gautier. Liz, you have just been given something with spots, fissures, bubbles, and a yellow tinge. What have you been given? A very rare Puerto Rican disease. <laughs> I think it's a pearl. Dick Gautier. <laughs> she thinks it's a pearl. Yes. <laughs> Wrong. No, what it is, it's, uh, it's a diamond. A diamond has all those Morris, little bubbles is, and oh, tinges. Marlene Morris, Marlene, is it a pearl or a diamond for a $200 box? Diamond. You're right. You've got a $200 box. Uh, and money. Pick another box, Marlene. Four. Now, we've awarded you that first $200 box. We put lips on it. That means they belong to you. And for the guy, that will be for the mustache. That'll be for Ralph. Now, you picked which box next? Four, please. Number four. Could we see box number four? And there is another $200 box. And that box is connected to Liz Torres and Alice Ghostly. And now, Liz, here's your question. When Richard Burton and Liz Taylor got their divorce, what were the grounds for the divorce? Neither one wanted Eddie Fisher. <laughs> I think it was, what could grounds, coffee grounds, it was, it was a, a desertion. Desertion. Alice Ghostly, what were the grounds? What did you say, Liz? She, desertion. She desertion. said desertion. desertion. Well, that's not true, of course. <laughs> it was incompatibility. They couldn't get along anymore at all. Marley. Incompatibility. You're right, incompatibility was it. You now have two $200 boxes. 
If you get and win one more $200 box, you'll win the game in $600. And of course, you know that all three $200 boxes touch each other on at least one side. So you have a 14. one, huh? What did you say? 14. Points. All right, that's one to of the win. five choices that could be the right one. Let's see if she found the third $200 box. Could we see box? Oh, <laughs> it's a blank. So that means it goes over to you, Ralph Florian. I'll take 13, please. He says 13 right next door. Could we see box number 13? And you found a $100 box. And that box is connected to Jan Murray. Oh. And it is also connected to Linda Wonder Woman Carter. And now, Jan, here is your question, sir. Sheikh Masood al-Sharif wants to buy an American shrine for his son as a gift. What does he want to buy him? How funny you asked me that question. <laughs> Sheikh Masood al-Sharif, I think I know him. He's the guy that once sold me a used camel. <laughs> Turned a humpback 3,000 miles. I don't know how he did it. He was unbelievable. But I know the man, I know what the shrine he's trying to buy. What is it, Jan? The Liberty Bell. In Philadelphia. <laughs> the Liberty Bell. Yes. The Liberty Linda. Bell. Yes. Yeah, that's what he said. That's our American shrine. Come on. He wouldn't buy something with a big crack in it for his son, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> if you I'll weren't you. Wonder Woman, I'd hurt you. <laughs> no, really, it was one of our most famous ones. And I heard this on the news just the other day, as a matter of fact. Yeah. It was the Alamo. Ralph, Liberty Bell or Alamo for the $100 box? Alamo. Right. The Alamo is it. <laughs> Very good, Linda. Now, Ralph, you're still in control. You have one $100 box, and there's a mustache on that box, which means that belongs to you. And now, pick another box. 19. Number 19. Now, what are you looking for, just out of curiosity? I just want to surround that blank. I see. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Box number 19. You found a money bag. Now, Ralph, you have a decision to make. Now, listen. Any player who gets three money bags breaks the bank, which, as you know, is worth $5,000. Now, the rule of the game is you can keep this money bag without having to answer a question, but you lose your turn. Or you can refuse to take the money bag, and then you can keep on playing. So what do you want to do? Keep the bag and forfeit your turn, or refuse the money bag and keep playing? I'll keep the bag. He's going to keep it. You now have one money bag. Two more of those. And you break the bank to $5,000. We're now back to Marley. Three to win. You're looking for another $200 box, aren't yes. you? That's a one out of four chance. Let's see, box. Oh, it is a $100 box. Well. How do you like that? You've opened up a brand new career for yourself. That box is connected to Jan Murray and Alice Ghostly. And Jan, here's your question. It's a very muscular organ, and mine is the size of my clenched fist. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Why ask me? It's your fist. That's true. Wait a minute. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> it's a muscular organ. Yes, sir. And mine is the size of my clenched fist. What is it? I would say the heart. I see. Alice Ghostly? What yes. Would you, what would you say, dear? Uh, I, I just didn't hear that at all. <laughs> it, was, it just threw me about it. But what was it? Well, I said it's a very muscular organ, and mine is the size of my clenched fist. What is it? Jan said a heart, and you say... Ah, uh, <laughs> let me see. Well, uh, it's a clenched fist, all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would say, uh, I just can't, a uh, muscle. That, well, I'd, I'd say your heart. Well, no, Jan said heart. You oh, see, Jan Jerry. said heart. Yes, that's right. So, uh, you say fist. Then I have to say something else. Is that yes, it? of course. I'm just not with it at the moment. Uh, uh, well, I'd say um, a fist. <laughs> You're right, it is the size of my fist, yes. Oh, it's the size of your fist. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I don't know how you pick that up, but then you're right, it is. Alice, Alice, is it something you feel you can't say in public? <laughs> no, it's, no, it's just one of my days. I think I'm having one of my spells. No, it's, it's, I, I would say then that it's your liver. I see. Now, Marley, is it your heart or your liver for that $100 box? Your heart. You're right, it is your heart. <laughs> and... Now, Marty, you have two two hundred dollars. One one hundred dollar pick another box. Uh, number five. <laughs> number five. What are you looking for, huh? The other two hundred. She is looking for the other two hundred dollar box. Let's see if she found it. Could we see box number five? It is a two hundred dollar box. What? Is that 
Now, my dear, if you get this and you must come up with the correct answer, you will win the game in six hundred dollars. Okay? I'm ready. Here's your. Incidentally, that box is connected to Mar, Joe Gartner, and Alice Ghostly. Again? Yes, Alice. Oh, no. Listen carefully, Mar, Joe. <laughs> yes, sir. In what country did Teddy Roosevelt fight the famous Battle of San Juan? In what country? Cuba. Alice. Ah, uh, and uh, <laughs> Cuba, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Marley Morris, if you come up with the correct answer, you will win the game. You will win six hundred dollars and a surprise prize. Is it Cuba or Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico. Wrong. It was Cuba. That box goes no. back to its original you. position. It goes back to the neutral position, and we're going to stop things right here. Take a little breather and bring Alice up to date on a little biology, or, and we'll be right back to continue our game. All right, welcome back to Break the Bank. Marley Morris so far has two $200 boxes, one $100 box, and Ralph Florian has one money bag, one $100 box, and the next pick is yours, Ralph. Well, I'm gonna have to block her. I'm gonna take five. He wants five because he knows that's a $200 box. Could we see box number five? And if he answers this question correctly, he can block her, and uh, we'll deal with that when it happens. Marjo, Gortner, and Alice Ghostly, this is for you. Marjo, okay. what is the usual position of the horse when it sleeps? My good man, uh, what state are you from, if you don't mind my asking? I'm going to show you. See right here, you see this? Those are called uh, bleep kickers. <laughs> <laughs> so you can believe me when I tell you that when a horse sleeps, the usual position, regardless of what you're thinking, is lying down. Alice, go sleep. I just can't believe that. <laughs> In spite of all those bleeps, horses always sleep standing up. Lying down or standing up, Ralph? Well, I've got a pair of spider stompers, too, and I'm going to say standing up. You are right! <laughs> now, we put a mustache on that box because that belongs to you, and you have indeed successfully uh, blocked Marley, unless, of course, she gets the wild card. Next pick is yours, Ralph. You're still in control. Go. 15, please. Number 15. Could we see box number 15? And there is a money bag. You already have one money bag. Three of them will win the bank. That will break the bank, which is worth $5,000. If you take it, you forfeit your turn. What do you want to do? I'll take it. He takes it. You now have two money bags. One more and you break the bank at $5,000. Marley Morris, back to you. Number one. Number one. Looking for what, Marley? Looking for $300 or a wild card. <laughs> All right. $300 or a wild card. Of course, it could. Yes, that's right. Okay. Could we see box number one? It is a $300 box. And... That box is uh, connected to Abe Vigoda, Barney Miller, and Alice Ghostly. And Abe, according to medical experts, there is one part of your body which does not have to deteriorate with old age. Which part, Abe? <laughs> is there any The part? fist. <laughs> <laughs> you want to bet? <laughs> I would say uh, the teeth. Alice Ghostly. One, part, one thing that yes. doesn't deteriorate with old age. Yeah. Well, uh, let me see. The older gentleman I have, to the toes. The I toes see. do All not right. go. Ralph, is it teeth or, to pardon me, Mar Marlee, is it teeth or toes for the $300 box? I'm going to go for the toes. Oh, no! no. It's the teeth! <laughs> Your foot freak. <laughs> Can we no. talk after the show, please? I don't know. So it's that true. box returns to Hunt Alice. What'd you say? It is the toes. Oh, is Just it ignore really? all that. All right, not really. It's the teeth. All right, we're back over to you, Ralph. Number one. Ralph says number. Oh, I see. He wants that three hundred dollar box. Could we see box number one, please? Ralph's going to take a crack at that one. Abe, here's your next question. At what age are you considered to be too old for sex? <laughs> With me, it was last Wednesday. <laughs> I would say... <laughs> yes, 
Yes, Abe. <laughs> Never. Uh huh. Alice, <laughs> yeah, all right. Alice, what do you think, hon? Well, I was just reading about that the other day, and it is good to put a, t- a time limit on certain activities. Boo! And, uh, How about seven minutes? <laughs> no. It's, it's uh, uh, insurance companies have yes. said that it is 75. 75. 75. Ralph, is it never or is it 75? Well, I'm going to go how I feel. Never. Right. It is never. Atta boy, Abe. Ralph, you've got a $300 box now and a 100 and two money bags. Next pick is yours. Number six. Number six. Looking for another $300 box. Did he find it? Could we see box number six, please? There is another $300 box. Connected to Abe Vigoda and Dick Godier. Abe, Abe, you're celebrating your 50th anniversary. Now, what would you expect as a gift? <laughs> a transfusion. <laughs> uh, I would say a diamond. Dick Godier. 50th anniversary? Uh, I haven't been there. Um, yet. Yeah. <laughs> You're celebrating your 50th anniversary. What do you expect as a gift? Yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think that's gold. Ralph, is it diamond or gold? Diamond. Wrong. Gold is the answer. Hey, and so that me, box don't... returns to its neutral position, and Marley Morris is still alive. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to take that number six. You're going to take number six for a block. All right, could we see box number six? That's for Abe Vigoda, Dick Godier. Abe, a university study reports that the biggest concern among our senior citizens is money. What's the second concern? The rising cost of prunes. <laughs> I would say their children. I see. Dick Gautier. No, because uh, once they become senior citizens, their children are no longer a problem to them because they're usually in, you know, in one of those Sun City kind of areas. Uh, from what I understand, it's the housing problem. It's whether to go to uh, an old folks' home or to live with yeah. their kids. It's the housing. <laughs> Marley, is it the, their children or their housing problem? Their housing. Wrong. It's their children. That box goes back to its neutral position and we're back to Ralph. Number six, please. Number six. They want it, and they want it bad. Here's your, here you go, Abe. Anatomically speaking, Abe, your lacrimal glands have been working overtime. What have you been doing? <laughs> Nothing on my body is working overtime. <laughs> uh, I would say perspiring. Dick? Your lacrimal glands. Oh, what are you crying, Tom? Ralph, <laughs> these are lacrimal glands. Crying. crying. Crying is right. You've got the $300 box. You now have two $300 boxes, and we're going to squeeze right here. We'll be right, right back with you. Don't you go away now. Ralph Florian, you're still in control. You have one $200 box. You have two $300 boxes. If you find another $300 box, you win the game. If you find the wild card, you break the bank at $5,000. Pick a box. 11, please. Number 11. Could we see box number 11? What is it? It is the <laughs> It's absolutely, and you know there's no one in the whole studio more excited than Marley. Yeah. Terrific. But you know, Tom, but you know what's sad? I lost. Oh, no, he loses his turn. Oh, that's right. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> All right. Well, Marley Morris, we had to say goodbye to you, but you've played the game beautifully. It was an exciting game, too, it? was wasn't exciting. It? And we have a very nice gift for you backstage, and much luck to you in your modeling career or whatever else you choose to pursue. Thank you. Marley Morris. All right. Can we see what the uh, wild card was on this board? Maybe we will a little bit later. There's the wild card. It was box number two up there. We'll be right back, folks. Don't you go away now.
Sorry, our time is up. Once again, we want to thank you, Marley Morris, for playing Break the Bank. It was an honor having you on the show. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Ralph. All right. I'll just stay right there. Ralph, congratulations to you. Here is the man who broke the bank, folks, for $5,000. Thanks, of course, to our stars, Robert Hedges and Ralph and Doc Potter, Linda Wonder Woman Carter, sit right down there, Dick Godier, Alice Ghostly, Abe Vigoda, Joanne Flug, Jan Murray, Liz Torres, and Marjo Gortner. Thank you all. Thank you. Folks, see you next time for Break the Bank. Bye-bye. Our departing contestants will receive a Vivitar pocket camera that flashes built in for sharper pictures. Even when your subject moves your pictures are sharp, Vivitar. And wash and dry, moist, disposable towelettes, individually foil wrapped to clean up anywhere. Put a packet in your pocket, wash and dry. Plus, Clark Gum, do great flavors, two great ways. Tea berry cinnamon, now also sugar free for refreshment and great flavor from Clark Gum. <laughs> The Bank is a Jack Berry, Dan Enright production.